Marvel's Black Panther is a smashing success. From pop culture references to callbacks to other Marvel, the newest superhero edition has some fun details that fans might not have picked up on. There is also some interesting behind-the-scenes secrets to know. Here are 15 details you might not know or might have missed in Black Panther. When the team is in South Korea, their outfits reflect the colors of the Pan-African flag. Director Ryan Coogler broke down the fight scene in South Korea for a Vanity Fair video and described how the red, black, and green outfits symbolized the flag. Additionally, Lupita Nyong'o's dress was 3D printed and features Wakandan text. Blue is used to represent danger or trouble. In the Vanity Fair video, Coogler said that the color blue represented colonization, so they had Ulysses Clow wearing blue. But it also symbolized trouble or danger, according to Disney. Because of that, the Border Tribe, who police the nation, and Killmonger also wore blue. Shuri's lab is located in Mount Bashenga, a nod to the first Black Panther. Bashenga was a warrior who became the first Black Panther and King of Wakanda. Shuri makes a reference to a Vine video and Back to the Future Part 2. When Shuri shows T'Challa all of the new gear she's created in her lab for him, she takes the opportunity to make fun of his sandals. She yells what are those as the camera pans down to his feet. This joke is a reference to the what are those meme that started on Vine. The original video started when a Vine user asked the question to a police officer and panned down to his work boots. It spawned numerous remix videos, including an incredible Jurassic Park one. In the same scene, she mentions some shoes she designed to lace up like an old American movie their dad used to watch. This references to the auto-lacing Nike shoes in Back to the Future Part 2. When T'Challa brings an injured agent Ross to Shuri, she says, Oh great, another broken white boy for me to fix. The first white boy she's referencing is Bucky Barnes, otherwise known as the Winter Solider. Captain America dropped Bucky off in Wakanda at the end of Civil War to help him recover. At the end of Black Panther, viewers can see how Shuri has helped him get better. Wakandan kids call Bucky White Wolf in a post credit scene. In the comics, White Wolf is the name given to Chala's adopted brother, who real name is Hunter. Hunter end up in Wakanda after a plane he and his family were on crash landed in the country. His parents were Ed, so T. Chaka adopted him. He later became the leader of Wakanda's secret police force. Though the name is unrelated to Bucky in the comics, it seems like the Marvel Cinematic Universe is changing the role to fit the Winter Soldier. Read our post-credit breakdown here. Killmonger ISNT related to Black Panther in the comics. Killmonger's father was pressured into helping Ulysses Clow when he first fed Wakanda. After his defeat, Killmonger's dad died and the family was exiled to the States. He still wants revenge for his father's death. Kosa became the official language of Wakanda because of actor John Connie. Kosa is one of the Afrika languages of South Africa. South African actor John Connie portrayed King Tichaka in Civil War and kept his accent. Boseman picked it up, and the rest of the actors followed suit. The younger version of Tichaka was played by actor John Cannis's real son. In flashbacks, actor Atandwakani played a younger version of his real father. Both actors who played young and old Zuri have the last name but are not related. Denzel Whitaker plays a young Zuri, while Forrest Whitaker played the older Zuri. The two actors actually played father and son in The Great Debaters. The three cities Killmonger mentioned sending weapons to are tied to Doctor Strange. Killmonger intended on sending weapons for an uprising to spies in New York, London, and Hong Kong, because they weren't resisting his goals. Those three cities happened to be the three locations of the Sanctums in Doctor Strange. Oakland, California, has historical significance for the movie. Not only is director Ryan Coogler from Oakland, but Oakland is also where the Black Panther Party formed in 1966. Okoye's neck rings were made of rubber. According to a Disney fact sheet, the neck rings the Nigeria wore to play Dora Milaje General Okoye were modeled after the rings worn by women of the Dabeli tribe in South Africa. Her rings were made of rubber for shooting. Daniel Kalu learned how to ride a horse to help with his role as W. Kabi. It helped him simulate riding his character's armored rhino in the movie. The final Infinity Stone may be in Wakanda. This is merely speculation, but of the six Infinity Stones, the Soul Stone is still missing. As the name suggests, the stone has the power to manipulate souls. One theory is that the stone traveled in the vibranium meteor that crashed into Wakanda and is still embedded inside of it. It could be buried under the garden of heart-shaped flowers. The herb inside the garden gives whoever consumes it extraordinary strength and allows them to communicate with their ancestors in the spiritual world.
with a large battle set in Wakanda shown in the Infinity War trailer, maybe Thanos knows the stone is there and is coming for it. For his part though, director Kugler told IGN that Wakanda doesn't need a stone. I love the Infinity Stones as much as any comic book fan, it's just Wakanda already has its thing, which is vibranium, he said. For us, that was special enough, so to throw in something like another special thing didn't feel right.